Hi guys! I hope you're well. So today I'm going to show you a final project that you can make with um, your salt dough and that's going to be a coil pot. So you might have made a coil pot before in clay and it's pretty much um, the same method as that. So if you haven't watched my previous video on how to make salt dough then um, have a look at that. Um, but it's fairly simple, you just need some flour, salt, water and food colouring or paint. So, once um, you've got your salt dough, ideally you've got two colours as that will make a very pretty pot. Um, you first of all need to make the base. So to do that, just take a lump of the dough and squeeze it flat in your hand and then you can squeeze it with your thumb and your fingers. We don't want to make it too thin, but it doesn't need to be that thick either. And then we can put it down and continue flattening it, trying to make it into a circle, like so. Okay, and then once we've done that, we're now going to make a sausage. So, We'll take another piece of the dough, roll it, give it a squeeze, roll it again, pop it down and we can roll it a bit longer on the flat surface, a bit longer and thinner. And then what we're going to do is to put it on the edge of this circle and bring it around like so. And then we need to join this sausage to the base and to do that you could use your finger like so or you might find it easier using a pencil but we just want to smooth the dough from the sausage onto the base so that it's nicely joined like this and then we're going to repeat the process but I'm going to use my other colour of salt dough next. So it's going to alternate um, with blue and green sausages. And you just want to continue um, doing this, building up the pot until it's the height that you like. Okay, so once you've um, got it roughly the height that you'd like it, you could always squeeze it a little bit to shape it. So I've just got my thumb inside and my fingers on the outside. I'm just giving it a little squeeze just to make it a bit more even. And once you've done that, you could then think about adding some patterns into the surface, which is quite exciting. Um, and to do that, I've just got a pencil. Um, and also a ruler, but you could have a look around your house and see what um, different objects you can find that will leave different impressions. So for example with the pencil, I can poke it in and it makes a really nice dotty pattern. And with the ruler, I can poke that in and it makes some really nice lines. So you can continue to add patterns around all of your pot as well. Okay, so there we go. Here's my little pot. I've finished adding the patterns. So once you've got to this stage, you can either leave it to dry naturally, um, put it in a sunny spot for two or three days, or else you could speed up the process um, and bake it in the oven um, for about three hours on 100 degrees Celsius. But keep checking it, um, you probably need a ham with that um, because you don't want it to burn and go brown. And so once you've um, got your pot and it's all dry, you could either seal it with PVA glue, which will um, bring out the colour a little bit, or else you can just um, keep it as it is. 
So you can't use this for putting any food or liquid in um, because it's still quite porous. But you could use it for um, maybe putting in some jewellery or you could put some potpourri in there, some paper flowers. Um, yeah, any kind of dry thing. Um, and maybe you don't even need to put anything in it and it's just a really beautiful ornament. Okay, so I hope you enjoy doing that and hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Bye.